Start. All right. So on Tuesday, we took our, our second test. Guys, quiet. Quiet. On Tuesday, we took our second test. Um, so we're going to make corrections. We're going to go over the correct answers. Uh, if you're an online learner, you can check your grades in Gradebook um, and see if you made a passing or a failing grade. Um, so here we go. Submit test corrections. Hey, Cameron, pick your test up off my desk right there and trade it with somebody. I'd go there. Okay. I knew that. I had a feeling. All right. So if, you made, if you're an online learner, you can uh, check your grade under grades, uh, see what you made on that first test, and if you made a failing grade, you need to submit test corrections because the end of the six weeks is tomorrow, so we have to have grades in by then. I already went to college. I went to Texas Tech. If you couldn't go to Tech, or no, was that your dream school to go to? Yeah, kind of. If Tech wasn't a lie, what college would you go to? A lie. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. Right. So our warm up question this morning was if you could go to any university, where would you go and why? And so they're asking me where I would go. If uh, Tech wasn't I went to Texas Tech, and, so, and I always grew up a Texas Tech fan. <laughs> if I had to go somewhere else, and money was no object. I don't know. I, uh, my, my dad, he graduated from Indiana University. And so I think I would probably go to Indiana University if I could go anywhere else. Michael, where's your brother going? All right, so I have, two, I have three siblings. My, I have one in college right now. He goes to a, a school in Arkansas. It's called Washington Baptist. He was gonna go there and play football, but then he decided to not play he got a scholarship there and decided to turn it down because he wanted to uh, go pre-med. He wants to be a doctor. So he's focusing on his grades. Um, and then my sister's a senior. She doesn't know where she wants to go yet. She's narrowed it down to like five or six schools. And she's going to, um, they're all over. She applied to TCU, uh, to um, UMHB, to... Um, Belmont and Nashville, um, and there's like two more, I forget. And then my youngest brother, he'll probably go to, I don't know, he might go to Tech, but, but we'll see. He's only sophomore. My you have brother, two minutes. I have totally agree. Four. All right, I got let's, let's do the test, okay? Number one, Wait. Cameron, did you trade with somebody? Um, trade with Cameron, Bryson. May I use it, um, purple, cool. um, Yep. Just mark. If they, if they got it wrong, just mark an it. They just circle the correct answer. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, I didn't. Oh, sorry. Alright, if they didn't answer it on the paper, circle, circle, circle the correct answer. Circle the correct answer. I just said that. Okay. Um, what drew many people to the colony established by William Penn? Austin. Um, a. a. Good. Religious freedom for all Christians. Number one is A. Number two has a quote. It says, Dear sister, I have arrived in this wonderful new world. I am now resolved that I am lucky to have this new chance. Certainly, this less green farming areas are preferable to serving in a, a cold, dark prison as I had no possibility of paying my debts. There appears to be good land to farm, and that is what I resolved to do. Who would most likely have written this letter? Uh, Augie. H. Do what? H. H. Good. A colonist in Georgia. Because he says uh, he is in a dark prison and has a, had no possibility of paying his debts. So that's Georgia. Number two was H. Number three. Which of the following people established the proprietary government of Maryland? Who established the government of Maryland, JT? Lord Baltimore, C. Okay. Number four. Which of the following people had the most direct influence on the writing of the fundamental orders of Connecticut? Bryson. G. G. Thomas Hooker, correct. Yes, sir. Thomas Hooker. Which of the following was an effect of the Great Awakening on colonial society? Uh, which had the greatest effect of the Great Awakening. What was the Great Awakening about? Who remembers? Um, it was where people started to um, like realize it. Yeah, 
Uh, sorry to wake and up and realizing what this morning, right. about what what was the about shifty well, it was shifty remember they went from being very to super religious good oh, mind yeah. they went from yeah. being yeah. very religious, religious to being super religious right mm -hmm. and um so there were more and more people had access to read what the bible the bible good jt and what are they doing with that information which answer choice, Maya? Oh, B. What would you say? I said B. It's not B. What is A? Good, JT. She said B. She said what? D. Oh, D. It's not D either. It's it's A. Oh. Um, it encouraged individuals to exercise their own judgment. Um, that was on the the gen kit. Um, D actually isn't a bad answer choice. I could see why someone would pick D because um, we talked about in the lecture how more and more people were encouraging um, the freedom of freedom of Native Americans, freedom of slaves, and it discouraged slave trading. And that we talked about that in the lecture. You're right, but the biggest point of it was that it was encouraging people to exercise their own judgment, allowing them to make their own opinions about about religion and forming different opinions on things like that. So number five, correct answer was A. Number six, which of the following completes the graphic organizer? Okay, so we're talking about English colonization. They came over for religious freedom, for adventure, and free and cheap land. What else did they come over for? Uh, yes, right here. Yes, political freedom, right? Okay, political freedom, because in England, they were under what? A... They were under who? Who were they ruled by? They were ruled by the king. And now in the colonies, they're going to have to set up what? Good, self-government. Number six was G or B, political freedom. Okay. Number seven. Um, we're talking about the British economic policies in the colonies, where... The colonies served as a market for British goods. The colonies provided raw materials for Britain. Um, Non-European imports into the colonies had to arrive on British ships, and certain colonial goods were sold only to England or other British colonies. Okay, what's that uh, trade policy that we've talked about? A, British mercantilism policies, right? The British are uh, the market for the goods, Okay, they're gonna, the colonies have to ship their goods over to British, and the British are going to turn them into finished products. That's mercantilism. Number eight. Maryland was to Catholics as Pennsylvania was to... Quakers. Good. Quakers. Raise your hand. Which of the following was the main reason the Puritans left England? Why did the Puritans leave England, Augie? To seek religious freedom. Very good. C. To seek religious freedom. Okay. Number 10. Which colony was established as a Dutch trading center? Okay. It was a port city. Dutch trading center, JT. New York. New York. Good. Right? What was its what? original name? You remember? Um, it was something like, I don't know. It was from the Dutch. Mm -hmm. Who remembers New York's original name? I was going to say Dublin, but I don't know. It also starts with New. New Hampshire. No. New Amsterdam. Good, JT. New Amsterdam. Okay, correct answer was G. New York or B. Um, which best completes the diagram for the Roman numerals? Okay, so number Roman, Roman numeral number one, and uh, number one we're talking about uh, colonies that were established for religious reasons, and then on number two we're talking about commercial reasons. What's another word for commercial? Well, what does commercial mean, JT? Economic. Economic. Very good. Hey, these are countries, or they're colonies that were established for economic or commercial reasons, okay? What is the best answer choice that completes that diagram? One was established for religious, and two was established for economic. B. Good. B, Maya. What religion was Maryland? It was um, Catholic. Catholic. Good. Maryland was Catholic. And how did New York make money? Raise your hand. Austin, you know? Yeah, they are a port. Good. They were trading, right? Trade city. Which of the following was least affected by the British mercantile system? 
Which of the following was least affected by the mercantilism system? Augie. A family farm. Good, a small family farm. That was on the uh, gem kit. We talked about it because in mercantilism, what's the goal of the mother country? To get, to pick a lot, to get as much as you can, so you would like to go to bigger farms and bigger crops to get more Good, stuff. yes. They want to make as much money, make as much profit as they can. So they're going to profit a lot more from silver shops. That has a lot more money than a uh, family farm. A shipyard, there's ships going in and out of a shipyard. You're going to make lots of money of them moving around those goods. Then a distillery, a distillery, if we don't know what a distillery is, it's a place where they make like whiskey. Okay, so a distillery, that's a big, will be like a big company, yes? I have a second company that works at Okay, very cool. So uh, there's gonna be quite a bit of money coming out of a distillery and then a small family farm. There's not gonna be a ton of, of money coming out of that. All right, so number 12, the correct answer was uh, D, a small family farm. Okay. Number 13, according to the information on the table, which of the fallen was most influenced by the first and the second Great Awakenings? Okay, we talked about this in our Great Awakenings lecture. Um, so the, the first Great Awakening had to do with um, churches. Um, they, they were founded for colleges to train ministers. African Americans and Native Americans were becoming educated. Colonists were inspired to help others by starting an orphanage. Uh, religious spirited inspired people to help others, a temperance movement or anti-alcohol, and schools in the workplace and the disabled were aided. Okay, so who is uh, getting involved? A lot of people in this movement or a few people? Um, we're all my a lot of good a lot of people and so what kind of movement is it social good a social movement and correct answer is d because lots of people are getting involved more and more people are becoming religious um, african americans and american indians are becoming educated there are people fighting for uh against anti-alcohol um and then it talks about schools and workplaces okay there's all sorts of people involved in these movements they are social movements which of the following colonies was established for religious reasons? Which was established for religious reasons, Cameron? Number 14. What'd you get? It's not North Carolina. What is it, Dorothy? Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Good. What Puritan what two groups were there? Puritan the Puritans and the Pilgrims, oh, right? Pilgrims. That's a permit. <laughs> yeah, Puritans and the Pilgrims. Okay, so the correct answer on 14 is H. Number 15. What about the debt state? What is the best way to categorize the colonies listed above? Why did New York, Virginia, North Carolina, and South Carolina all come over for it? Uh, Arnie, what was it? B. It's, it's not B, it's A. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Correct answer is A. They're founded for economic reasons. Remember Virginia. What colony is in Virginia, Augie? Uh, I don't know. Jamestown. Jamestown. Good, JT. Jamestown is in uh, Virginia. And how did Jamestown, what were they coming over for? Cash crops, and they were trying to come and find gold. But they but they tobacco. Tobacco. Yeah. And they made, yes, they got made their money off tobacco. Well, All right. No. They were trying um, to get gold at first. Well, yeah, they were going for gold at first, but that's like the three G's is like the general motivation, like of all the colonies. Yeah. But and then New York had it. What was New York's purpose? New York was for um. Uh, it was for trading for the Dutch. Trading, right? It was a Dutch trading center at first, right? And then North and South Carolina of the three colonies. Uh, New England, Middle, and Southern, what colonies are they? They were Middle. North and South. Um, weren't they Middle or Southern? No. Okay. They're Southern colonies, and what do we know about the Southern colonies? How? Um, they mostly make, um, well, they don't do much. Um, What's their weather like? They, it's colder down there, so they don't. South? Have, yeah. Wait, we're the South. It's hot. We're the South. Yeah, like Texas. What's the oh, weather they like? Oh, crops. Good. Okay, so good. Okay, so you know Virginia made money on tobacco. New York's a trading city. 
in North and South Carolina, they're southern colonies, and so they have warmer weather, so they grow crops. So they're all founded for economic reasons. The correct answer on 15 is A. Yeah. Number 16, which colony was established as a refuge for Quakers? Uh, Augie? Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania, oh. good. Who's our founder? Yeah. Just say it again, Bird. William. William Penn. 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 So number 16 is uh, G or B, Pennsylvania. Okay. 17. We're talking about the Pilgrims, the Puritans, and the Quakers. And according to the information in the table, a common characteristic amongst all those religious groups was that they did what? Promoted self-government. Good. Promoted self-government. Right? What document did the Pilgrims write? The Mayflower Compact. Good. It says it in the chart. Mayflower Compact. Right? And then it talks about each group. It says that they elected representatives and made laws, wrote a constitution, established a legislature. Okay? That's all talking about self-government right there in that chart. Number 17 was A, promoted self-government. Number 18, um, okay, what important date is missing? It's an easy one, one of our seven key dates, Bryson. It is H, Declaration of Independence was signed. Under key dates, you should have at least gotten one because the test gave you one. Actually, the test gives you the test gives you three right there. 1607, first call, permanent colonies established. Then it gives you a blank for 1776, and then it gives you 1803. There's, there's three key dates right there. All right, 19. This person was born in Boston. They published uh, their first edition of a book called the Four the Four Richards Almanac. So they were a writer. They negotiated the Treaty of Alliance with France. They served as a delegate in Philadelphia, and they died in Philadelphia, Austin. That was probably the easiest one. Tom Jeffers. Not Benjamin Tom Jeffers. Franklin. Benjamin Franklin. Benjamin Franklin. We had a whole lecture on Benjamin Franklin one day. Okay. 19 is B. Benjamin Franklin. All right, and number 20. Which of the following best completes the chart above? We're talking about the middle colonies and about the, their land. Yeah, JT. H. H. They had a rugged mountains on the interior. What's the name of those mountains? The yeah, um, Appalachian Mountains. Good, the Appalachian Mountains. Number 20 was H. Did it? <laughs> uh, I missed 9. I got 9. I told you guys that uh, uh, there was a chance you could get your grade 10 point higher. Oh, oh yeah, let's go. Uh, okay. Oh, you missed it. You missed it. Uh, Bryson, right. you actually missed it.